If you want to improve your posture with a posture corrector, perhaps you bought a perfect posture kit recently, then there are two times that you want to be using it for maximum results, basically to get the, the most value for money out of it, and also time. And those two times are when your posture is at its worst, which is normally working on a laptop for most people, but also when you're walking, especially brisk walking. So I want to explain why those two work and why it matters. So first of all, when your posture is at its worst, again, for most people, that means working at a laptop. Um, maybe you're working on a dining room table or you haven't got your home office set up quite yet, you know, and you find yourself, for all good intentions, after a few hours, you're going to end up kind of slouching like this. doesn't matter how expensive your chair is or how well you've got it set up. Eventually, if you spend several hours sitting down, you're going to find that you're just kind of slouching. So what the posture corrector does is it prevents you from doing that by physically kind of restraining it, um, making it slightly uncomfortable to slouch in that position. So what it does, of course, is it builds a habit. And that's what we're trying to do, because it's not just the quick fix we're looking for. It's actually getting long term lasting results as well. So wearing it when your posture is at its worst, usually on the laptop, is probably the number one time when you want to be doing it. And I'd say start with about 30 minutes and build up to three or four hours a day if it's comfortable. But the second time to use it, if you really want maximum results, is when you're walking, especially brisk walking. So let me explain how that works. Your posture, believe it or not, isn't just a physical thing. It's actually mapped in the brain. So your brain has a map of where everything is in the body. So if, you, uh, if your posture changes, for example, so your shoulders get a bit slumped and your head comes forward, after a while, your brain's just going to think that's normal. And it's not going to be bothered about changing that because it just thinks that's a normal position. So what we want to do with the posture corrector is recalibrate your brain to how it thinks things should be, where things should be. And the, the best way to do that is by stimulating it with movement whilst holding it in a better position. So simple way of doing that is using the posture corrector. Sorry, I'm trying to get in focus here. Using the posture corrector and then going for a brisk walk. So by brisk, I mean just like, say you're going on a mission or you're trying to get somewhere fairly quickly. You're not just meandering around the shops, even though half the shops are shut, but you know what I mean. And the other thing you want to do is swing your arms. Because when you're swinging your arms normally, then you get this full rotation throughout the hips and the shoulders. You get even more stimulation to the brain from all the moving parts, as well as pumping fluid around the discs and the joints in the back. That's really helpful for the back as well. So when you're wearing it, when you're walking, what you're doing is you're actually engaging the brain and it's starting to remap where it thinks things are and again this is what's going to help you get to good long-term lasting results because you're actually recalibrating your brain as well. I first came across this when I at the beginning of my chiropractic career um, many years ago I worked for a few years in a in a clinic that specialized in something called chiropractic biophysics so that's a branch of speciality within chiropractic of posture rehabilitation basically so it's realigning the spine into a correct um, ideal shape. So we take x-rays of people, um, look at it and say, well, this is out of alignment and what we want to do is bend you back into the right shape. One of the ways we used to do that is by putting people into a brace that goes around the shoulders and it would push them into the right position. And then we'd have them walk on a treadmill for up to 20 minutes briskly with their arms swinging. And again, for the same reason, because as well as physically stretching everything into the right position, we're recalibrating the brain to get used to that position so it stays like that. Cheap and easy, simple way of doing that yourself without having to go through a long process or go to a clinic is just with a posture corrector. So just to recap, so the two best times to use a posture corrector for maximum benefit are when your posture is at its worst, so that normally means sitting at a laptop, and when you're out walking, especially brisk walking. And if you combine both of those, then you're going to get really quick results and you're going to get more lasting results as well. So I hope that's helpful. If you've got any questions, just uh, pop them in the comments and I'll see you soon. Take care.